Hi, I'm Mark and this is Foothill Paint Fabrication. Today we have my niece's 2006 Honda Accord in the shop and although it does need a paint job badly, uh, that's not what it's here for today. This last spring, uh, my, my sister had sent me a text uh, asking what I thought about what was wrong with my niece's car. And here's a little clip. Yep. And I replied back, uh, someone stole your catalytic converter, which she replied back to me uh, with a four letter word, started with F. Well, uh, $2,000 later, uh, the car was back on the road and we had talked about trying to protect the cat from being stolen again. Uh, months went by and uh, just the other night uh, on her ring cameras that she put up to try to watch the car, uh, she, got, she sent me this. And as you can see, someone crawling underneath the car with a flashlight, uh, scoping it out. So that prompted me to get up my butt and see what we can do to proud of protecting this thing so it doesn't cost them another $2,000 keep it on the road. So let's move over to the bench and uh, see kind of what the game plan I have for this thing and uh, hopefully we can stop the thieves in their tracks. Okay, we've got an assortment of sizes of exhaust clamps, two and three quarter, two and a half, three, two, um, and then a chunk of cable. Now, I would have preferred to buy it by the foot, but tr uh, finding cable this size, this is 5 uh, on a Friday evening, um, is not easy. So I got this at Home Depot, it was like 28 bucks, which still isn't a bad deal. And then all these exhaust clamps at the auto parts store was like $35, and I actually bought more than I needed. Um, a different sizes because I, although I measured the tubing underneath there, um, it's hard to say once I wrap the cable and everything around it, how big a clamp I'm going to need. So I probably bought three more than I need, but you know, I'll put them on there anyways, more the better, more the better. So, um, the plan is to run the cable down the length of the pipe, all the way from the down pipe at the exhaust manifold, all the way down, uh, at least two, maybe three strands of it and then wrap the exhaust clamps around it at uh, strategic spots and then tighten it around and then taking the welder and then welding the nuts a little bit where it sticks out uh, so they can't just take the nuts off and get the cable out of the way. And then if any service ever needs to be done, a quick uh, little cutoff uh, wheel and they can get the nuts right off at the muffler shop or wherever and uh, get the cable out of the way and service the cat. So although this is a brand new cat, nothing should need to be done to it for years. Um, and you can be easily access the O2 sensors. So uh, this should do something at least to deter them from, uh, you know, my hope is they just slide underneath the car, take a look and go forget it and just move on. And that's the idea here. So uh, let's slide underneath the car and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look at how they stole it. So they cut the wires on both O2 sensors. So both of those had to be replaced and the wiring up underneath the car. And then they unbolted it right here on the exhaust manifold. So this downpipe was missing. And of course the uh, flex, then the hanger, and then of course the cat. And then down here they cut it just on the pipe. So the plan is to protect all this from theft. And part of it is going to be to cover these bolts so you can't get to them easily. So the exhaust clamp that goes around here is going to have a plate that kind of with a couple of tubes on it that goes up so you can't get to these bolts and get those out very easily. And then we're gonna run the cable from that one along this inside here, all along on the top, all along there and use the exhaust clamps to clamp around it in certain spots and then weld those nuts so it doesn't come off. And we'll also run at least one on the underside here too, possibly two, it depends how much cable we have. I think we'll have enough and then that should protect it. So, uh, you know, they don't have to spend another $2,000 on this thing. So let's, uh, let's get to work. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the bracket to protect so that you can't get to these bolts. Now they do make, like I said earlier, they do make special bolts that have a, a weird head on it that you need like a special socket for, but we don't have those. So we're gonna just protect these uh, by maybe a piece of half inch tubing or half inch, or, uh, half inch pipe that'll come down and weld onto a plate that's welded onto the exhaust, uh, exhaust clamp 
and then when you slide that up it'll go right over the top of them and we'll have it just away from it a little bit so it doesn't rattle just in case because these are spring loaded so if this pipe shakes a little bit it won't be going ding 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 and cause a problem and then uh, but they can't get a wrench on it so let's get to work on that first okay I've laid underneath the car here I wish I had a lift that's for sure for uh, 30 45 minutes and the plan was originally to protect both these bolts so you couldn't get them out the problem is there's an O2 sensor right here and I was thinking well what happens if the O2 sensor they have some problem the mechanic needs to get to the O2 sensor and I've got this thing covering it um, then it's he's gonna have to cut it loose and that's just gonna be that much more expensive and really we only need to protect one bolt if they can get this one out it doesn't matter because if they can't get that one out, this thing isn't coming down and they can't run off with it again. So uh, I switched my plan just to protecting this one bolt and making sure that someone could get a wrench onto the O2 sensor. And to do that, um, I pivoted this bracket a little bit so it doesn't block the O2 sensor when it's all on there. Just like that. And so you can still get a wrench on there and so what I did was I made a cardboard template and this is the shape of that that bracket and so it's going to kind of slide like this and so then you can still get a wrench on there and then I've got a piece of tubing and that tubing is going to weld onto uh, this plate and go all the way up so you can't get a wrench or socket onto that uh, onto that bolt right there so the next step is oh and uh, also, while I was doing this, I kind of had it a lot bigger, but then uh, there's an oil filter right up here, and the service, whoever's doing the service on this, is going to have to reach up through here and get their hand or a wrench on that oil filter. So I had to make sure that this area stayed relatively clean so they can get their hand up through there. So Because I don't want to solve one problem and cause four others. So uh, I'm trying to think a little bit forward here and, and not to shoot myself in the foot. So the next step... Head over to my buddy Dave's. I got a piece of 316, so I'm going to cut this out of. And uh, he's got a, a plasma cutter, so that'll make a quick work of it. And then I just kind of rounded the edges so whoever's reaching their hand up in here doesn't get cut. And then I can still weld that tube on there. So I'm going to go cut this out real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the bracket done. It's going to go just like that. It'll be welded to the other, uh, to the exhaust clamp uh, base. And then, um, then we'll figure out what the tube length is going to need to be. So I'm going to go get this welded to this piece right here. And then we'll be able to figure out what the tube is going to be. And then we can start thinking about running some cable uh, down around the length. And hopefully that'll go pretty quick. Okay, let's just get this welded together real quick. That should hold it. I can't knock it off there. You can see right here, I had this extend a little bit out and I notched back so the uh, nuts would fit on there because this, it was going to be a little thin so I wanted to make sure it was good and strong. So that's stuck on there good enough. Let's cool it off and uh, see how it fits up underneath the car. All right, so you can see the bolts right back there. This fits right on there just like that. Now this plate's going to be a little bit of an angle, but I'll just cut the tubing at, at that angle and then just figure the length. So all we have to do is I'm going to mock this up here, measure the distance up around that bolt, and uh, figure out the length for this tube. And I'm going to get it right up to it, um, not touching, and then that should give us a little uh, room so it can they can jiggle and not bang or click or anything else be irritating. So that's the next step, and it's looking pretty good. So I'll probably maybe throw a nut on here, nut on the other side, and uh, get this figured out, cut, and then tacked on there, and then hopefully we'll be able to weld it up, and that'll be it. 
Okay, we got it all welded up. The tubes welded on there. I just tacked it on one side and then uh, clamped it up in there and then bent the tack a little bit to get the tube at the right angle. I had to angle this a little bit to fit up around that uh, bolt, the exhaust flange bolt. And now, um, instead of trapping the cable underneath the clamp, which is going to kind of make it rock and hard to do, uh, this is steel cable. It's uh, just galvanized steel cable. So I already cut the end off and welded the end so it wouldn't fray when I was going to slip it underneath. But I decided to go ahead and I'm going to weld it right to the back side of this clamp. So when it's up inside there, um, it's clamped and it uh, it's going to hold. It's, it's just a deterrent. It's not like it's lifting or anything. So we're just going to weld that up real quick. Okay, that should hold it just fine. We're going to let that cool and then we'll see about getting that uh, clamped up in there. I'm going to figure out about how long each cable needs to be and then I'll cut and then I'll weld each end so it doesn't fray. And then uh, we'll do the final length uh, once we've got it all installed. I have no idea what the ultimate length is going to be. But it looks good. We're ready to let this cool and then bolt it up in there. Okay, so we got everything bolted up in here. I uh, ran the two cables right here that will roll underneath. They'll spread out a little bit once they go around the corner. Uh, I couldn't pinch them on the sides here because obviously this is the pinch point dead center, but um, it's over the bolt right here. This bolt, like we talked about, will stay exposed. And this is really tight. I'm gonna uh, snug it up a little bit more later. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll take the welder and I'll just weld right here. I'll weld that nut right to the threads right here. Same thing on this side. And if uh, anything needs to be done on the vehicle service to get this piece off, um, all you have to do is just take a Sawzall, cut it right here, just bend those out of the way or cut it in two spots and get it out of the way. And then uh, all you'd have to do is replace uh, this U-bolt right here. Piece of cake, you know, four or five bucks at the, at the auto parts store for one of these. So um, that's, that's the best I can do right here without blocking the O2 sensor and a bunch of other stuff. And you can still get your hand in here and get to the uh, oil filter as well. So that's on there really good. Now the next step is to route these cables. Uh, there is the other cable up underneath here and that's going to go right on the top all the way down the line, down the exhaust pipe. And then we're just going to put um, exhaust clamps over the top of the whole thing and capture all three at the same time. So let's, uh, Let's see what we can do about getting that done. And then we just have to cut the cables to length, uh, to the final length, weld the ends so they don't fray. And then really that's about it. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you know, do the best I can with the camera. So we've got the cable run uh, all the way down. It runs down the backs, uh, the top side here, and then down around. Then it, uh, I got it trapped with, um, with the muffler clamps, of course, you saw the part I did up here, and then I've got a two and th two and three quarter right here uh, exhaust clamp, and that worked out good. This one was a three. I probably should cut a should have got a three and a half because this was kind of hard to get it over these brackets and then get that on there. I had to bend stuff around and cut the ears off, but I got it to work. And then it runs down. And then I've got a two and a half here, and then they're just two inch clamps the rest of the way. And so the next step is welding these nuts. I'm going to go ahead and weld each one of these nuts so you can't get these off. And I'm also going to weld the two bottom flange bolts on the cat. Um, so if it ever needs to go to the muffler shop, they can just take a cut off wheel and cut these off and get all this off fairly easy up on the lift. But laying underneath this thing in my sister's driveway trying to steal it, they're not going to be able to get it off. So, uh, so I'm going to weld all these and <clears throat> When they stole it last time, like I said, they took it off the manifold and then they just slid it right out of this hanger right here. 
So what I did was I got a piece of 5 16th rod here I had laying around, cut it, and I'm going to weld it onto that hanger where it sticks out of uh, right here. And so they can't just slide it out. Uh, they'll have to take the bolts out and drop the whole hanger. So it's just a little bit more deterrent. And like I said, at the muffler shop, they can just take a cutoff wheel and just zip that right off there. So that's not going to be a big deal. So let me grab the welder and we'll get all these welded up real quick. And then, uh, then I'll take you a quick tour of what we did. Okay, I'm going to attach the uh, ground as close as I can to wherever I'm welding. Uh, that way, just a little protection, make sure you don't fry the computer. I've got the negative cable disconnected. So we're going to go ahead and clamp it right here. And I'll get these up here. Okay, that's it. We're, uh, we are done. I got a couple of dingleberries got me there, hot ones. Um, I tried to put the welds so they were visible from both sides of the car, just in case somebody crawled underneath, they would see that those nuts are welded. A little more in deterrent, so they just walk away and go uh, find some other victim. So let me, uh, let me grab the camera and we'll take a quick tour of what we did here. Okay, so here is the bracket we built to weld it onto the exhaust clamp. Here's the tube that goes up and protects that, that uh, bolt. Now that tube does not touch that bolt. It's got about, you know, eighth inch or so, but they can't get a socket on there. And here's the other one that we left open because I couldn't block, I didn't want to block the O2 sensor. Then the cables run down the top side here and on the other side, and then here is where I welded that little uh, piece of 5 16 rod on to keep them from pulling out of the uh, hanger here. They'd have to unbolt it. Here's the clamp. It clamps it all the way around just past the flex joint here. And then, of course, the nuts are welded. We've got it clamped right here, uh, top and on the bottom and sides a little bit um, with a 3 inch. Probably could have used a 3.5, like I mentioned earlier. Nuts are welded. Cables run down. And I got, uh, I think, a two and a half inch right here. And uh, it puts it on there. Then I started twisting. So I twisted the cable so it wouldn't uh, hang on anything or uh, rattle. So it's on there pretty tight. And then just another clamp. 
and then twisted some more and then another clamp down there. So I think this is going to work out great. If they want this cat, they're going to have to work at it this time. And thieves don't like work. That's why they steal, right? So uh, hopefully this will save my sister and my niece a couple thousand dollars until this car finally wears out, I guess, and uh, she gets a brand new one. Okay, that just about wraps up this video on protecting my niece's catalytic converter on her Honda Accord. Um, we're out uh, 60 no more than $70 for the, all the parts, the clamps and the cable and everything, and three or four hours of my time, maybe five hours, because a lot of the time was spent uh, trying to figure out exactly how I was going to do this, so it didn't interfere with anything underneath the car, Just change a oil, maybe change a uh, uh, O2 sensor or something like that. So uh, I think it's going to work. I think any thief that slides underneath this thing is going to see those cables and those clamps and go, nope. I'm passing it on by. It's not going to be easy money. They're going to have to work to get this catalytic converter off here, and uh, and I don't think they want to do that work. So, um, fingers crossed. And I think my niece and my sister can sleep well at night, and hopefully that ring camera just gets to get a much more people looking underneath and just heading down the road. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that's subscribed so far. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I really uh, appreciate it. And if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps promote the channel. I appreciate everybody that's joined me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication, and I'm sure we'll see you on the next one.